What's up, Tiger fan? Welcome back to another video with the Tiger Legacy. In today's video, we're going to give you top five greatest techniques you can implement into your workouts right now for building muscle with calisthenics without weights. Now, today we just finished a workout, so if I'm partially, if my voice is a bit harsh, then I'm sorry for that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get to the video and let's get it. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting into the first muscle building tip that we get, that we have for you for today. So plain and simple, we, we discuss this a lot, we say this a lot in most of our muscle building tip videos, but it is simply, basically tempo. Now tempo really works well on creating time on attention, emphasis, and basically muscle focus towards damaging the muscle tissue that you're trying to obviously damage within a normal set. So tempo, uh, usual tempo that I like to do, that most people like to do is a normal 2 one, one Basically what a tempo is, if you don't know already, is the first digit is usually your eccentric, the middle one, the second digit is the isometric, and the third one usually your concentric. But they can be interchangeable, that all of that is determined on what kind of exercise you are doing, but majority of the time it is eccentric, isometric, and then concentric. So yeah, tempo is the first technique that you can do, and it's really going to help you build more muscle with calisthenics with our weight. Okay, so so the the second muscle building technique that we have is obviously added weight. Now, calisthenics become, can become easier if you don't have a variety of added techniques, just easy techniques. Maybe just make your exercises harder, make your workouts harder. So a really easy thing to do is just to do added weight. Now you can basically just buy a dip belt, they're not that expensive. But just buy a dip belt, add in the weight, make sure you see the dip belt problem because it's of the beginning of times that we use the dip belt, it wasn't correct on how we use it. So make sure you use the dip belt correctly or just uh, even a vest or just put it in your bag. Added weight is a very, very good technique that you can implement into your uh, training right now in order to get your training or your workouts to the next level and make the gains that you want to make gains with our weights and with calisthenics. So yeah, added weight is the next thing. And yeah, we'll get into it. Thirdly, we have weight manipulation. We have said this in a previous video before, but weight manipulation is an obvious muscle building tip that you can implement into your training and it's gonna really benefit your kind of training as of now to implement it. And basically, you can do this with anything that I accept for muscle up. The muscle up is a bit different, although it'll be very hard, but you still can do it. And yeah, it's just gonna make basically everything that you do harder throughout the longevity of a workout. So uh, take for example, a straight bar dip, you can easily just do side, lean over to the side, lean to the other side. For dip, same thing, lead to the other side. Pull ups, lead to the other side. And it just keeps on going on throughout the vast, um, majority of vast variations of exercise that you can do with calisthenics. And it's very important with calisthenics that you do have some kind of stockpile of exercises so you do know where to go from that and to keep a regime of basically what you're doing throughout the weeks that you're working out. So it's really keep count, keep track of your progress and obviously the exercises that you're doing and how many sets and reps that you do. But yeah, that is a different video, but for now, add weight manipulation into your training because it will really help you and really focuses on what you're trying to work, you know, even on the muscle imbalances. If you're the lean on one side, you work out more and it basically really emphasize on what you're trying to work if you do lean on that side. So we get to the fourth technique. We get to the fourth technique, and this is basically what I like to say that I, I like to say that I created the technique. And we do this a lot at the Tajik Legacy, and it's called FS, and that stands for sudden stop. So basically, what you want to do is during any kind of exercise throughout the isometric uh, part of that movement, you want to pause suddenly and then explode back up. You wouldn't really want to implement tempo and sudden stop together. It's more of a separate variation, separate techniques. So if, if you, you just go down really fast, pause, and then come out fast or control, it's really up to you. But yeah, you want to just make sure you focus on when you're going down. It's not just a drop. When you're dropping, it's more of a controlled drop, but you're not going down uh, too fast or too slow. So it is a drop but make sure the muscle focus and the emphasis is there so you know all the multiplication is going into what you're trying to work within the set that you're actually doing so that is the start and stop technique as we had mr big wang demonstrate so yeah we'll have that out there make sure you try our start and stop 
there's a really good muscle technique and it really uh, shocks the muscle, I guess, when you are doing exercise and doing your workout. So, yeah. So, we get to the last technique for the video. The last and final tip that you can implement building muscle calisthenics. So, this is what we're talking about is muscle and mind connection. Now, this is not muscle mind connection, but it is earth technique. Now, I like to call this the EC technique. So basically what you're trying to do within a given set, within a set set, is you're focusing on basically squeezing and contracting the muscles that you're actually trying to work. So if you take for example a push-up or a pull-up, with a push-up you're pushing in as you're going down and you're pushing in also as you're coming up. Alright, so it's in and then in and it's, it's, it's all about that movement of focus on what you're trying to actually activate. So within, within that exercise, if it's a push-up, it's more trying to focus on that chest activation. If we take for example a pull up, it's different, you're going to be pulling out that's going to work more towards of the outer lat, alright, so to the lats. So you're coming up, you're pulling out, and you're holding at the top, you're pulling out, and while you're coming down, you're still pulling out, alright. So it is the earth's technique, also is a very good exercise, just to focus on what you're actually trying to do and really isolate what you're trying to do within that set. But also remember, we'll give you a bonus tip, this is obviously emphasis and when we give you, we've already previously made a video on emphasis, actually think about what you're trying to work and it will do you wonders because if you're actually just trying to focus on what muscle you're working, imagine, go inside that muscle, actually imagine that our uh, muscle tissue is damaging, that muscle damaging is to actually go on to help get further damage. You know, you gotta go feel more muscle that way. Just find a focus and attention going into what you're trying to work, okay? I've said that a lot, but yeah, that's basically just the sum up of this video. So, that's basically all the five exercises that we have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, we've got more videos coming out. If you are kind of standing out, please. If you are a beast, like the video, subscribe, blah, 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 you know, you know, the usual. So, See you guys in the next video. Stay strong, never give up, make gains. How's your fam till the end? We're thick and thin. Side you saw is a good thing. Peace out.